Vor drei Jahren war ich... Three years ago, I was part of a team at a textbook publishing house. The big question hanging over our heads was what kind of digital learning offerings could we provide as a traditional publisher? And on our team, many had been with the publisher for years. Most were sure they already knew their students down to the last detail. They said things like, I have a daughter myself, so I can put myself in her place. And that's why the team started right away to exchange ideas about new learning opportunities. And there were a lot of ideas. And they were, well, not good. I know from my projects that it can be a real problem to already know a lot about a topic. Especially at the beginning of a project, the team then lacks this unbiased view of the possibilities. And that's exactly what happened here. At that point, I said, guys, we need to start doing this differently here. And so we finally started to engage our users. What do I do when a team thinks they already have all the relevant information on a topic? In the project, we set up a handful of interviews with students, teachers, and parents and the team wanted to know what they thought about the textbooks they had already developed. I wanted to know what learning meant to these people. The first two interviews were over, and many on the team already felt their assumptions were confirmed. Sure, they were parents themselves and knew many situations and, of course, the publisher's learning offerings. Then interview three. We talked to a mother whose son had massive problems at school, especially with English. She was studying with him, and it was a disaster, because no matter how long they studied vocabulary together, the grades kept getting worse. And then she said, but by now it's not an issue anymore. And I say, by now, though, it's not an issue anymore. And she says, yeah, suddenly then the grades got better. And I say, why? And she says, he got much better, first orally and then still in writing. To which I say, why? Um, I don't know. Maybe the studying helped then. And I say, why do you think that? And at the latest, I get this look from her that I get in almost all interviews that says, okay, what, what do you want to know? What are you asking me here? I thought we were talking about your product. And even in my team, my colleague is already looking at me and pointing at the clock because he wants to discuss other topics. That's exactly the moment when I realize, now it's starting. Welcome to the story of this mother and her son. A story she has probably never told herself. So she's thinking, Either the learning helped or he just had more practice speaking. And I ask, more practice speaking? And she starts thinking for a long time. Well, I've heard him speak English more often at home in the last year. And I ask, why, with whom? To which she says, online, with the headset on. He's been playing more and more computer games, which I think is really terrible. To which I say, who was he talking to? With the other players online, they were talking about their games, tactics in the game, what they were going to do next, and so on. And I say, and that was the exercise they were talking about. And now she's thinking again, several seconds. Yes, yes, exactly. That's exactly where he practiced. And she says this one phrase that no one on the team has forgotten, and that we've dredged up and repeated to ourselves over and over again in the project. She says, no offense to your textbooks, but he learned English through his first-person shooters. Bam! What a statement from a mom who is totally skeptical of computer games. This was a story about real learning that we didn't expect, and a story that shows possibilities. Because we can have as many of our own experiences as we want. In the end, it's the impressions we collectively gather from the team that count, and from the people for whom we wanted to develop these new products.